B Call 206 and you rocking with Hip Hop Seattle. Boy. Mafi D, we tapped in with Hip Hop Seattle. Man, shout out Hip Hop Seattle. You guys already know they got everything popping in Seattle. So tap in. I wanna say the world. Like Thanos. Booty chin, nigga. Tell the world to kiss my Thanos. Godfather Marlon Brando in the bando. Fucking on a rando. I just promised her a Lambo. Bitch, I'm riding solo. Miss me with that Lambo. <laughs> Just like this. This is the Hip Hop Seattle podcast. We on episode eleven. Yes, Your boy Cal Naughty. Your boy Miss High Definition. Henry Hunter K. Mayhem. We got a special yeah. guest. Yo. Nacho Picasso in the building. Make some noise. Yeah. Sad Appreciate man. you stopping by the program, bro. Hi, how you guys what, doing? What, what your day been like so far, bro? Mm. I woke up early. I watched Chopped. A couple chopped. episodes of Chopped. Um, ran some little errands, played some UFC. It's been pretty chill. Played some UFC. Yeah, that's what's, what's up. up. Yeah, fuck with Chop. That's a good show. Chop's a great show. I like Cupcake Wars too. <laughs> yeah. Cupcake Wars and all that. Is that the Travel Channel? Or that the food. Ch- that's the Food Network. Food Network. The Travel Channel got hell shit. Cake Wars. Man, anything with the wars, wars. <laughs> I'm all about that shit. Put me on that. You fuck with the Gordon Ramsay shit and all that? Oh, man. I like I like the one where he helps niggas get their restaurants. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Kitchen Nightmares. But the beginning, though, be real fucked up. Like, that's some of that right. shit that's be crazy. Part, uh, that's my favorite fucking part. Damn. That's the part I like. Yo, there's another show. I forgot what it's called. I be calling it Bad Kitty, but that's not. It's about cats. And then it's this weird dude. And if you got a bad cat, he comes and he makes your cat a good cat. Oh and, shit! And, I think I've seen that. And he gets on the ground, <laughs> big ball headed dude. He gets on the ground and he like bats his eyelashes, and then like does all this weird shit. Somehow the cat reacts to it. What? Bro, that's my shit. But I only watched the first fifteen minutes when the cat's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Flip it off after I that. I love me a bad cat to scratch a motherfucker's tear and shit up. Damn. And then once the cat starts behaving, I'm like, it's just boring. What? Next episode, where's the bad cat? Yeah. You got a cat yourself? Nah. Are you a cat man or dogs? You, you fuck I, with animals? I, I hate ev- everything. I, <laughs> I, I, the only thing I like is rabbits. Rabbits. And I want a fox, but my girl said no. No foxes. That would be dope. I mean, them shits, man. I've seen some dogs. Like, if you look online, there's some foxes that be acting like dogs and shit, but they just move, like, way differently, though. Yeah, Hella yeah, fast and agile it's and shit. It's a fox, man, but she said no. But I like rabbits. I got pet rabbits. rabbits. They're not really pets. They're wild rabbits, but they live in my yard. You name them? Uh, nah. It's just, it's just rabbits. I could, but I could recognize them. I could tell them. There's one that makes me chase them. <laughs> like, like a dog, if I don't chase him, he'll come close. And then when I come towards him, he'll run a little bit. Sometimes he'll run and lay down like a dog. Like, nigga, come get wow. me. Wow. And I go fuck? to get him. And he's just playing. But, you know, I give him water. And uh, I go to the motherfucking wing stop and I bring him carrots. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Pampering the rabbits. Those my niggas. That's in tune with nature, you know? Yeah, just yeah. rabbits. Just, just rabbits. <laughs> Man, bro. You fuck with animals. You got you did you don't have any pets, bro. Do you? No, I used to have a I can't remember what they call them, but like a Chinese fighting fish. The fuck? Oh, like, I did too. Beta. About? Yeah, beta fish. A Chinese fighting fish. Yeah. yeah, I used to get two. You'd have to keep them far away from each other. And then I would put them close, and they would start mugging each other. Cutthroat. What? And then I would just pick one up and just drop them in there, and they'd kill each other. <laughs> I didn't know if yeah. they had fish like. Yeah. Yeah. And fish are cutthroat, be... bro. They beef. Yeah. They got they... teeth and shit? Or did they just... Nah, they're, they're just be... little tough just little gulping. niggas. What the fuck? Yeah, the little beta fish. Yeah, I fucked up and put a goldfish in one. Oh, they bro, fucked them fucked up. up. Oh, fucked the goldfish up. Yeah, no chance. Damn. It's like it's like no the chance. cartoons when like when they get the little dust pile and they just be, <laughs> oh, yeah. they just swarm and they. I don't know what they be doing, but it be working. Fish are brutal, they just bro. They went close to the top. Man, or or fish's goldfish. vision too. What you just see straight, you can't even see around you. You got like all these different fish and shit. Yeah, the goldfish can't even see that. it coming. He's like, yo, what's going on? That shit, bro. What was that? Those niggas gotta live their life alone. You used to have little they cage birds too. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. 
Do you have any? You have any animals or any pets or anything? Bro, my roommate has two cats, man. Like earlier Pissing this morning, no, nah, bro, they killed a bird. Like they're inside, outside cats, and I just walked up, I, like wake up, and there's just a dead bird on the floor. I'm just like, <laughs> God damn it, that man! Means they love you. Whenever they, yeah, yeah they're trying like to that, like man. bring me a gift, bro. Yeah. But I'm like. I gotta clean this shit up. You guys don't understand. They're all like happy running around, like, you know. Look, nigga, we bought you a dead we bird. Got your food. But I was, yeah, you know. Damn, shit man. Shit is crazy, man. <laughs> so what's the what's the day to day, bro? Nowadays, like you working on some new stuff. You uh, kind of just taking it easy, chilling. Um, like, what's the day to day for you these days, bro? A lot of time lately, uh, consists of me sleeping. I sleep a lot. I lift weights a lot. Lift weights a lot, yeah. I've been boxing. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out this sober thing, man, you know, because normally I would just party and do cocaine and fuck whoever answers their phone at 5 a.m. So <laughs> now I'm just like in a whole new life. I do a lot of physical fitness shit. I take mm. a lot of naps. Word. You know, I watch a lot of cooking shows. But yeah, I'm, I've been trying to retire, man, but I don't know if I can. It's hard. <laughs> yeah. I got to go to the studio after this. I'm working on a little a little collab project. But uh You talking about retire from music? Or you talking about retire from I want to retire from music. What 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 uh what was the thought process behind that? Like what what brought you to that you think like just everything and just the town or just like just the music shit or just been I don't know. I don't even know if I will or if I can cuz my fans be fucking even if I got like six of them, I just be caring so much about the motherfuckers that it means something to. Mm-hmm. But uh, really, I, I, I've, I've done so many albums. Um, I got a tour in October. I just want to maybe take a break. I'm kind of bored. Yeah. I'm flying out uh, tomorrow to do a film in Nebraska. Mm-hmm. I kind of want to get into acting and shit. Okay. And, uh, Mm. Is it just the interest in as far as recording music? Is it the is it like what do you what do you think that really kind of got I'm kinda you? Like bored I'm just, with, just bored I'm in general. Bored with, kind of bored with the state of hip hop right now. Okay, and that's no offense to the people. I'm, it's weird because I enjoy it too. Like I'm not like an old hater who's like, oh, it sucks now. Oh, these youngsters can't rap. Cause nah, man, this. Like, yeah, there's a lot of trash niggas, but there's, like, some niggas that are doing some dope-ass shit that I've mm-hmm. never heard from any other era, you know? Mm-hmm. Whether it's not too many, but, like, there's a lot of bullshit getting through, but there's some r- if real cool shit. Yeah. Like, when you go to Walmart and they got the DVD bin and you got to look through all the DVDs, <laughs> all the ones, but yeah. if you look good, you find, like, a dope-ass anime or something. Yeah. So, yeah, there's some real cool shit, so... Just, I've been doing it so much, and it's all I've been thinking about, and all, all you know, for a long time. I'm just ready mm. to do some other things. And spread your brain power to something else. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. honestly, I hate, I hate uh, a lot of the shit that it comes with. Like, mm. I like doing music, but I would, I don't want to get no more famous than I already am. Mm. And I, and I'm not even like feel myself, but I. I fucking hate strangers. <laughs> you feel me? Like, niggas listen to your music and they think that they really know. I'm arguing with some nigga on Twitter who lives in Ohio. Damn. You feel me? Telling me about who I am. Like, come on, you're, you're a joker. Come on. Like, nigga, you don't know me in real life, boy. Mm. I'll slap the fuck out of you, <laughs> my nigga. Like, nigga, you don't know anything about me, bro. You're talking about some music sh- Nigga, I don't rap about shit that I've done criminally in the past, you weird ass nigga. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm not trying to entrap myself. Also, I'm not trying to glorify that shit. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Anything I did bad, and I did a lot of shit bad. I did some shit that I don't even like to think about. But anything I did bad was out of necessity and desperateness. Mm-hmm. So why would I rap about that to younger kids who are listening? You know, I, I rap about some pervert shit because I'm a pervert. <laughs> but, like, you know, for the most part, I don't rap too negative about, like, go do this, go do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I've done it, nigga, because that's what I'm from. So this fucking weird nigga from Ohio who's probably never busted a grape in a fruit fight, <laughs> feel me, 
is over here telling me. I'm like, bro, if I'm ever, if I'm ever in Ohio, like, nigga, I took a screenshot. Nigga, if I'm ever in Ohio, nigga, I'm giving you, nigga, you backstage, Pat, nigga. I gotta, I I gotta put my hands on your little ass, bro. <laughs> Got to, bro. I'll go. I'll book a show in Ohio right now to slap the shit out of that guy. Yeah. Just, just out of principle, bro. Like, man, what? That is wild. But a lot of sh- dumb shit, you know. I feel you there. It's like nigga actors or like even other genres. Like I've been writing music for other genres because I like writing music. I'm yeah. a writer. Mm-hmm. But nigga, you know, country niggas ain't nobody pulling up on them trying to take their chain. That's you true. feel me? You don't see the EDM DJs shooting at each other, nigga. Just not, That's nigga. True. I done left the club and had a group of niggas outside the club waiting to jump me. Niggas that I ain't never even had a word with or even seen in my life, mm. just because the, the DJ nigga said Nacho Picasso in the building or oh, Nacho's in here. Oh, shit. Like nigga, I ain't know. I don't know what other art you you do that reciprocates that. that kind of yeah, brand. I don't think there is any other genre of music where the or any genre people are as toxic. Like, nigga, even porno stars. Nigga, you don't see the nigga, you don't run up on a porno star because nigga got a bigger dick than you. Like, nigga, chill <laughs> <Yeah>. out. <laughs> like, what the fuck you nigga so bad about, nigga? Well, how do you feel you got through that? Because how, how, I feel like you, you broke through that to that point where I feel like you're one of the more polarizing artists, more uh, distinguishable. Like when I look at it, like you're you're definitely one of the like I think if not the first artist I heard about rapping when I you know when I was coming back up and That's shit. Love, man. Like it was your name and a few others, but you were the first one. It's, so like, it's crazy because like I can't like walk around in, in Seattle or go anywhere without some. Other, I think I'm real recognizable. You know, niggas. I walk downtown, niggas out their car nacho niggas pulling up on the car and not you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. yeah. so like i could be with like <laughs> i could be with like someone soup you know someone super big or something like on twitter might have or you know social media you know how that goes yeah might get more views or something but nigga, no one's more recognizable than me bro like, and i appreciate yeah. it i used to beat people up because i was scared I wasn't used Looking to, I didn't so. know, like, I I didn't ha- make music with expectations, and I didn't, like, have any, like, blueprint, and back then it was a little harder than it is now, mm-hmm. and I don't, I still, I just don't really know how it, it kind of took off real quick, so I wasn't used mm-hmm. to niggas looking at me. I think it was your videos, bro. Like, your videos were very, like, you can just tell that there's a lot more. Especially at that time, not, not everybody just had a camera shooting yeah, and shit like that. Yeah. It's just different. So when you did have the video and shit, and it was dope like that. I remember, like, the Marvel video you had was real yeah. dope. You did the Dean, uh, Dean Martin. Is that what the one? Yeah. The black and white joint. We was doing like, those that shit with good. no money, man. We yeah. was just trying. Yeah. We you was, couldn't. We was doing a lot, of, uh, yeah. a lot of creative shit. Like, we was doing a lot of something with nothing back then. You mm-hmm. couldn't tell though. It looked like high production shit because you're like, man, because you're just looking like I can't, I can't do that shit. You're like, man, that's some, you know, man, that's so it's, it's real dope, mm-hmm. bro. You got the song with Gucci and uh, Blue yeah. Sky, Black Death, yeah. bro. Like that shit, like all that, bro. Yeah, like, man. Like doing shit, like way back. That was a minute ago. I did a lot of shit with Blue Sky, Black Death. Like oh, that's really my shit that really started um, taking off because I had only had one album before that and that's what got me in with Blue Sky Black Death I did uh, Blunt Raps yeah yeah, mm-hmm. yep. uh, with my cousin Raised by Wolves and then from that uh, Blue Sky Black Death did a, a remix oh yeah and then that, the song was dope they was like let's do an original song so and then we yeah. did an original song, and then from that we did three projects back to back in like one year. We was just like on a roll. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you were dropping this shit. You were putting them on like Bandcamp and stuff like Bandcamp. that. Bandcamp. People were really fucking with that yeah. pretty heavy back then. Yeah. They still do. I feel like the people still rock with that. Good platform. So, still get yeah, a little still Bandcamp there. check every now and then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Still moving a little bit, but now they got SoundCloud and all this. Oh, yeah. Access to free music and shit, which is good, man. It's it's making uh, people blow up a lot faster. Hmm. And, but I'm just I'm not I'm just not interested in anything anymore. Hmm. Um, industry wise, okay. I'm turned off from the industry. I like it's my just lo- what it requires. Yeah, it's just the like, expectations. I put up with so much weird shit and dumb shit. Yeah, and uh, I'm I'm. What's the word? Uh, 
Not spiteful. I'm a little. Uh, Are you a little jaded from it? Yeah, a lot jaded. I don't want to yeah. talk to nobody. I hear you on. I hear I'm you. I'm sick of everybody. Everyone's got a fake little song and dance, and everyone's full of shit. And I'm trying not to slap the shit out of people <laughs> lately. You feel me? Yeah. So uh, I'm just sick of everybody, bro. Like, fuck. The less people in your circle, the better. Don't no new friends, none of that shit. Every oh man. Hmm. It's just a lot of shit, but, uh, you know, a lot of industry plants and shit. Wow. And I don't care, because I don't care what other people do to that, you know, that sense. Mm -hmm. But a lot of good shit gets overlooked, because motherfuckers do what they tell you to. Like, Did they try to mold you and try to take your, oh, you know, rewrite ago. your whole shit? And a long say, time ago. Okay. How'd you react to that when somebody really came up to you and was like, hey, we need to change what, you, what you've established I, yourself on, you know? Uh, I didn't react good enough, obviously. <laughs> 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 nah, like, I tried. There was a point, like, at the peak of all that shit after the BSBD albums when I was talking to labels and shit, I was getting calls, little money offers, and I was shutting them down because I was fooled to thinking it was, you know, right? that was when like, niggas was like, yo, we're independent. Mm. Yeah. Independent was cool. But nobody was really independent. It's just like in high school when every, all my niggas, we all said we wasn't going to eat pussy. And then I found out everybody was eating pussy the whole time. That's the only way they was getting pussy. And I'm defending them in class like, my nigga didn't eat your pussy. And then five years later, I grow up and realize, yo, I'm the only one that wasn't eating pussy. And now I'm behind and eating pussy. So it was like that. Like everyone's saying independent. None of them niggas was independent. Mm. So I'm like, nigga, I'm turning down little deals. They, it wasn't much. A couple of them was nice. So then I finally found one. I was like, all right. Uh, they're like, yo, want you to do this, this, and this. And they had this image for me, and it was like a watered down. It, it's like it's like a watered down version of what I was, kind of. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But. You know, mind you, I was doing a lot of drugs back then. <laughs> like that shit wasn't fake. Like I was, mm. I'm still slow. Like I'm waiting to get back to my normal self. I'm still like, you know, you got like a little rock in your shoe. I'm still shaking sand out my boot, <laughs> nigga. Yeah. But uh, so I'm really drugged out. And I'm like, man, whatever. For that money, I'll try to fit their mold. Yeah. So I gave them the album that I thought they wanted, mm -hmm. and it was still too raw. It's scared though. Yeah. They're like, whoa. That's like, yo, nigga, I'm sorry, but that's as fucking soft as I'm getting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> hey, hey that kicking out windows high on cocaine. Bro, like, that bro. was all real, bro. Like, that shit's so hard. I was so literally hard. kicking out windows high <laughs> on cocaine. <laughs> bro. Like, and then now I'm like, now it's like, man, I, did a lot of fucked up shit. Now, I've kind of feel, I don't regret any of it. It was my journey, and uh, I never expected anything out of this music shit too. So like, I'm part like half of me is like disappointed in like, cause you, people put uh, what's the word? People put expectations in your head. Mm -hmm. Cause I really just made the shit so I could drive around and sell drugs to something cooler than like. Macklemore or whatever was being popular. I wanted to hear some shit. I just wanted to hear myself. Yeah, exactly. Hey, as vain as it sounds. Yeah. Got tired of hearing these niggas. I wanted to hear myself. Absolutely. So that was what I made it for. So then all this cool shit started happening and I wasn't prepared. You know, I started being mean to everybody. I started fucking everybody's bitch. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, ah! I started acting like Dewey Cox. Because <laughs> I wasn't, like, everyone thought I was just like, playing on them songs like no i was a motherfucker <laughs> and now i'm 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 not so much a motherfucker but i just because i locked myself away from everyone mm -hmm. if i had to go out two days in a row somebody would get stabbed <laughs> <laughs> so now i'm just mm -hmm. like a little hermit i hate everything i hate everybody but i still love everybody it's weird do you feel like you've accomplished a lot of like what you are set out to do as far as like just little things as far as when, once start shit started popping do you have like any like I've exceeded you know? my expectations okay. bro so you're I, satisfied with it like I've gotten 
I've gotten DMs from motherfuckers who are about to kill themselves and shit. Mm-hmm. Something in my song, whatever it was, gave them some kind of hope where they didn't do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm talking about a lot. So, like, that alone, feel me? Like, yeah, money and everybody wants to be rich and uh, wants to be Drake and shit and have mm-hmm. fake abs. But like, <laughs> oh, but like that it's alone, so like, though. yo, like I've had fucking kids of all races crying to me, telling me like, you know, mm-hmm. something touched them, and that alone, bro. And I've had also I had so many blowjobs and free. I didn't pay for drugs for like five years, so like, there's that cool shit. But like, change like whatever positive effect I did like my music did more positive like I want to think about what it did for me Mm -hmm. but like for other people it just done more positive than bad you know it it had a solid impact that's awesome like I never expected to I'm over here talking about my shit and you know what I'm going through and I never expected a motherfucker in some other city to resonate with that and I get a little letters and dms from motherfuckers in like italy and my like my tattoo artist went to france and said they were playing my music in a <laughs> tattoo parlor that's mm-hmm. crazy and he told the niggas that he's been tattooing me and they didn't believe him they're like you don't know not your because niggas in france are telling the nigga <laughs> you don't know me. Like, no, just, no way you're cool enough to know not your because i said man shit like that like you can't pay for that kind mm-hmm. of shit yeah when people find a strength in your in your words that's yeah. amazing that's man crazy. that's real cause you don't think people will fuck with it if you if you really started talking about all that shit like you don't feel like they would just like even if you wanted to like not even whole projects but just having songs like that you feel me you don't think they would they would fuck with it well, like the, you're real fans you know the, the songs where I don't like let you know I was normally I joke I do a lot of jokingly Dark humor, mm-hmm. um, but then the songs about do we really let them in inside mm-hmm. and like share a little part of me and shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, those aren't nobody's favorite songs. <laughs> you think so? Is it like they want to hear Ducktales? They want to hear me say "Don't hold a grudge, hold a dick." <laughs> they skip right over the song where I'm fucking crying in the background. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but uh, music, it's still good to put them shits out there for mm-hmm. people. Because like of somebody, it re- I'm sure it resonates with some people. Yeah. But by the time they get to the show, the niggas is t- three tequilas deep. All they want to hear is, don't hold a grudge, hold a dick. You know, I fucking hate that song. <laughs> hmm. You think some of your most popular, you think one of the more popular songs that you, you feel like people fuck with more than you fuck with? If you have like one that's out or, there that's like. That's all of them. Like all of them? Dude, I do shows. I go places that I've never been before. Hmm. I don't know what they want to hear. And I'll do a whole set. They'll just be yelling songs that I don't know the words to. And I got <laughs> no intentions of performing. I'm like, damn, that's what you niggas wanted to hear? <laughs> I done got this 45 minutes uh, worth of every song that you didn't. didn't I'm, I'm fucking, I'm fucking, uh, what's my nigga, most deaf to these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I come out there and Boat I do suit. a whole bunch of songs I think they want to hear, and this is just not what they and, want. And they don't want it. Man, it's what I want to do though, so I don't really give a fuck about anything anymore. Yeah, I'm to that point where like I'm making songs. Like if I put out, I don't know how many albums I'm. I'm definitely want to put out one album because like to me, every I've been trying to make one album, this one album, since my first album. Mm. And some albums I get closer, and some albums are really just far away from what I was trying to do. Yeah, but I've never made the album that. Is in me that I'm trying to make that masterpiece. Yeah, yeah. I haven't made my masterpiece, or even came close. You know, um, so I don't know how many more albums I got in me, but I definitely at least well I got one that I'm working on, mm-hmm. and then uh, I definitely got one more. I'm not going out on a. I'm not going out quiet, and then worst comes to worst, there's this album that's that I really always wanted to do because I first started, I wanted to piss people off. So if really everyone just stops paying attention and nobody likes me anymore, 
Man, I'm gonna make the worst album ever, man. <laughs> I'm gonna say so much shit. Fuck, people are gonna be burning crosses in my yard. People are gonna be doing abortion clinic stuff in, in my yard. Like, I'm I'm gonna make the album that gets me canceled for real. Like, you guys wanna fucking not like me? I'm gonna make you guys hate me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say shit that I don't even mean just because I know it's gonna make you <laughs> So you keep on fucking not paying attention and I'm gonna make the most hated album ever. You think the scene's not fucking with you? You feel like how do you feel like so y'all? Nah, just, the scene's Seattle fucking back? with me. The scene's not fucking with itself right now. I'm gonna keep it real. Like Yeah. I've been going to people's shows. Um like two, three years ago. You would go to a show, say like a Sam Machow show, and then you would go to a Saul show, maybe hit my show, and you would see 60% of the people would be the same people. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. they, they were just supporting the scene. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You feel me? No matter, not no matter who it was, but they were supporting the elite Seattle scene. People were enthusiastic about our shit. People are still enthusiastic about shows in Seattle, but it's like mainly like out of towner shows, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, Young Thug come here tomorrow. The city gonna be excited, you know. I know what the time Chief, you're talking Chief about. Show was lit. Yeah. You feel me? I haven't seen motherfuckers that excited at a show in a long time, but it's not just like one person. It's just the scene, and it's not up to the scene to be excited for you. It's up to you to make the scene excited. So niggas are putting out good music. I don't know what it's gonna take, but it's it's up to us to make motherfuckers excited about local music. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's number one. Yeah, that's all it is, and uh, it comes in waves. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's just not. It's just not. Uh, I don't know. It's just not. It'll come back though. It's mm-hmm. cool. It's, people are still doing good shows. You know, we still got young cats doing good shit and uh, it'll keep continuing you mm-hmm. know yeah so how do you feel about the up and comers people that want to fuck with you fuck them fuck them because <laughs> <laughs> the, the blunt rap blunt raps too that that tape was hella hard i know that had the blind song on there you're like you know yeah i'm gonna keep bump and you talk about a Dude. feature do you fuck with these people or how do you feel like if people like come to you for like you know hey, man, want to collab or some I'm shit a, i'm a pimp and a hoe you give me some money, I'll I'll rap to a fucking silent fart. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Nigga, I take the money so damn quick half the time, and then I won't even hear the beat. They're like, you fuck with the beat? I'll be like, yeah, I fuck with that shit. <laughs> then I get to the studio, I'm like, fuck, how do I need to get this nigga his money back? I can't, yeah. rap. I can't rap to this shit, but shit. I will find a way. Hmm. You know, And I'll give you my best verse. I don't give a fuck. Cause that's your money. Have you heard some dope ass shit though that you just really fucked with and you just wanted to rock with? No. Never. I hear some dope fucking shit, and but I ain't never heard nobody that made me want to rock with them. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that. I just don't give a fuck about anything, bro. <laughs> I just don't. Like I never heard nobody was like, yo, I gotta do a song. I hate when I see a nigga, especially a nigga I don't know, or like, man, like talk to me nice. Like like a nigga who's just like yo yo Nacho, yo we need to we need to work. Oh yeah. Nah, not don't be a we need to work, man. Yeah. Cause I don't need to do. I don't even need to work with myself, <laughs> nigga. I'm good, nigga. I could, I, nigga. I could move, buy a tiny house and chop wood for the rest of my fucking life <laughs> right now, nigga. I don't need to do anything but eat my girl's pussy, bro. Like I don't know. I just don't like the way niggas use the words. Like yeah. yo we. How we need to work and you ain't even introduce yourself, nigga. Yeah, I don't, true. nigga. Or nigga, some niggas will be like, "Yo, we need to work," and ain't even did a song themselves yet. But now they need to mm. work with me. I just don't. Just have your shit proper before you come and ask. Yeah, yeah. just come at the people the right way, bro. Yeah, Especially if true. it's a motherfucker who's been working for seven years and you've been working for seven months. Yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, it's a little disrespectful. I guess, but I understand it. And I, I've never been a we need to work nigga ever yeah. because I never really gave that much about shit. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I just didn't. Nigga, we made blunt raps. Nigga, my cousin just was making beats 
and was like, bro, you need to rap about the shit you be saying. And I was like, I don't know how to rap, nigga. I know how to freestyle and shit, but I don't know how to write music. And we just started doing it. And now I'm just like, I learned so much along the years. Like, yeah. if anything, nigga, I, I would like to get into songwriting for other motherfuckers. I could do that forever. I just don't want to be the nigga telling you the shit. I don't want to be the motherfucker taking pictures no more. Mm -hmm. But And I want to get outside of myself. Everyone's like, not Nacho so set and built in a, his self. Mm -hmm. It's fun for me to step out and write songs for other motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. And I just get to write. Nobody's judging Nacho. Yeah. You know? And I could do some shit that I wouldn't do that I would probably think was corny, but motherfuckers would think was cool. You know? yeah, they appreciate it in a different song. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, motherfuckers like, everybody likes different shit. You could put out the best song in the world, and there'll be some motherfucker who thinks that shit's trash. Hey. There's always somebody in the comments. It's too, yeah. There's always somebody in the comments. Yeah. Fuck the comments. I feel, like you, I feel like you've put in enough work to be able to decide what's cool, though. And people yeah. are gonna have to like no real for real though. Yeah, I feel like you can I really agree. just be like, hey, this is the shit right now. This is what we're on right now, guys. And this is the hot shit. And I'm fucking with this. And hella people, I feel like are gonna fuck with it. You just have like that, like you're a staple. You know I what swear. I mean? Like you can't mm -hmm. talk about Seattle hip hop and not mention your name at all, because then it's just a clear bias that you just wanted. It. It's clear. Feel me? I'm just keeping it real. You know what I, I mean? Swear. Like we gotta yeah. put respect where it's there. Like definitely, everybody yeah. knows who Nacho Picasso is. Don't even trip about it. It's not an ego thing. It's a really, he just put in the work. You feel me? Yeah. So I feel like you could just say, yo, this is the shit. And people are going to fuck with it. I feel like you've done it before. Hella times. I, actually. Think, I think when I came out that there was hella motherfuckers thinking the same shit that I was. And uh, like kind of rapping kind of how I was. But just nobody, nobody, niggas were scared to be the first nigga to come out and be like, yo, fuck this. And this is what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And fuck you, and we taking key bumps, and we fucking bitches. Because when I did it, hella niggas came out the woodwork like, yo, you know, kind of like gave a birth to like a different sound. And then a, a lot of shit kind of sprung off of it, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And some of it I, I really like, some of it I, I'm not so proud of. But um, it kind of like gave birth to like a, change the scene for a minute. Yeah. Change the scene forever. Mm -hmm. But scenes always change, so now it might be some new shit. But there was a good point where I definitely, man, motherfuckers was rapping about laying their coats down over puddles for motherfuckers to walk on and helping old ladies across <laughs> the street. And I came and shook shit up, and you know, and uh, I'm proud of that. You know, I'll always be able to say, wasn't no motherfuckers out here saying what I was saying or doing what I was doing at the time. Mm -hmm. Now, man, yeah, maybe. Yeah. But uh, I let you niggas know it was safe. Nigga, I got in through the door so you niggas could sneak in through the window. Mm -hmm. nigga. Hell yeah. And I was really punching people in the face and shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was really slapping fans, mm -hmm. knocking niggas out. They're probably uh, loving it though, right? Yeah! Take it man, the one shit. niggas uh, was talking, talking to me mean on Twitter, hurting my feelings. And I always wanted to catch one of them Twitter people because I'm sensitive. You, I get a hundred nice things and that one motherfucker will bother me all day. Yeah. So I'm like, if I ever catch one of these niggas, I'm going to beat the shit out of them. <laughs> Period. Because I be trying to drop my, drop my motherfucking destination for niggas. They never come. So one day I'm at a show. Some nigga, you know, everyone's coming up. Nacho, Nacho Picasso being all cool, wanting pictures. Some nigga, I see him over there with his partners, and I, you know, I, I read body language. I, already, you know, I just don't like his. He's doing too many movements. I mm -hmm. can see them kind of gassing him up. So he walks up to me and he's like, "You not your Picasso?" And I'm like, "Yeah, man, what's wow. up?" And he's like, "You know who I am?" <laughs> first wow. of all, nigga, those the first uh, two things. Like it's kind of crazy. Yeah, and his friends are looking. I'm like, crazy. okay. He's like, you know who I am? I'm like, nah, should I? And he's like, we got into it on Twitter. And as soon as he said what? that, and there's like a little rail between us, because I'm in like, uh, like a different section. Mm -hmm. And he's like, you got into it Twitter. As soon as he said that, I just slapped the shit out of him in his mouth. And I just jumped over the little rail, and I'm bam, rocking him. <laughs> 
And then I just start beating up all his fucking friends. <laughs> bam, bam. I'm socking all the little six little dudes. Man, some dude walks up like this, like, stop. Bam. I <laughs> freeze him. Yeah, I don't everybody. even know him, but why are you in, <laughs> you're in punching, uh, punching reach, nigga? Yeah. Running Damn. up. Yo, some girl DM'd me later on that night. She's like, yeah, there was a fight in the crowd. I hope, I hope it didn't have anything to do with you. Yo, it, it was me. I was like hitting everybody, bro. These motherfuckers make a Snapchat spitting out blood. Courtesy of Nacho Picasso, all happy. Wow. Fucking sadists. Wow. That's weird. Yo, I slapped the shit out of all of them, man. That's a wild show. Would you say that was one of the wildest shows you've ever like been a, like a part of? Like, because some shit happened like that? Or some dudes like really mention Twitter and shit? Like, that's kind of less. I slapped the fuck you out read, of like You see that shit as like a meme sometimes, but that shit, somebody did that. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, that's wild. Yo. I've had some wild shit happen. <laughs> hey. I've slapped a lot of people. <laughs> do you uh do you got any new music maybe coming with Avatar or like MacNed? Like No. Nah. Oh. Uh, I was <laughs> fucked I fucked I fucked with the music like like some of the shit that you guys made back in the day, man. Yeah, those were good times, man. Those were good times. Is it more but, gang forever uh, too as well? Is it uh is it's it It's more gang forever just, on my part. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is it still as a group or is it more just like a it's a family thing where it's like it's you family. rap it? Okay, mm-hmm. I understand. Shout out to Gift to Gab. She's doing real good. Gabby's I think she lives in LA now. She's doing her thing with a bag. The bag yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Jarv D signed to uh with Jay Park. Jay Park, high music, high, high music. music. High music. Um, yeah, still more gang on my part, man. You know, and uh, every it's like every you know, like Game of Thrones. You know, like Arya Stark was doing her little shit. Jon Snow was over here, you know. But then they all met up in Winterfell. So, yeah, nigga, we still mourns, but. Half the motherfuckers make me sick anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, it's still family. I don't like anybody, bro. Like, I'm like w- Wolverine in the last movie. Yeah, that's my hilarious. my claws is coming out slow as motherfucker. Yeah. I'm old man Nacho, bro. I hate everybody, but I love everybody at the same time. Softy, I want niggas to do good, but I also. Want niggas to stay the fuck away from me. <laughs> Do you. good, nigga, but fuck you, you weird ass nigga. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. It's still more gang, though. That's what's up. Proud of everybody. Nah, I'm proud of like four of you niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be real, I ain't lying. <laughs> so, what is the next chapter, though? What is next right now, as far as right? He's not even gonna reveal that shit. Nah, I, I mean, leave. I don't know, my nigga. Yeah. I, feel I I've been debating like can't leave rap alone. Alone, the game needs me. Kind of <laughs> shit. I don't even know if the game even likes me, but <laughs> Jesse, are you talking about just Seattle? Because I don't feel like I don't feel like everybody like nobody in this room views you as that. We 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 definitely. I feel like Maybe everybody I'm in this room definitely got respect for what you do. I don't know what's wrong with me, man. But the next chapter, I got a couple more albums in me. I forgot it. I'm really into movies, man. I got some some um, voiceover and cartoon. That's shit fire. Yeah. That I'm I'm trying to get into. Yeah. I'm just trying to get into other avenues. I want to open up a business in like three years. You know, I don't know. But I say this now, but you know, in five years I'll probably drop thirteen more albums. <laughs> yeah. Like I'll do anything for some money. You know what I'm saying? When they offer me money, I will wrap my ass off. But m- normally I just do everything myself and it costs me money, but then I make it back, you yeah. know. But, yeah. Do you feel like your passion for music's still there? Or is it just really not, is it more of just a job now you feel like? Or yeah. It, yeah. Man, you guys, I tell you. When was the transition you feel like? Was there a certain a show or event or an I album? I know exactly when the trans. And, and I've still had fun making music since then, but like the transition was... Between Black Narcissist and High and Mighty. Okay. High and Mighty was a great album, mind you. It was mixed great. I had some wonderful producers. 
It's like the closest to a mainstream album I've ever done. Mm-hmm. I try not to say such fucked up things on it, you know. Um, I had some good people working with me, but it just wasn't what I wanted to do. A lot of people liked them shits. I was rapping my ass off. Don't get me wrong, but it 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 wasn't coming from. I wanted it. What I wasn't doing what I wanted to do. Like so, like. After that shit came out, Trances with Wolves came out right after. It's like a six, seven song, eight song EP. And really, that was just songs that niggas wouldn't let me put on the other shit. Like, mm-hmm. everyone had a like vision. A B-side type thing? Yeah. Okay. And I like Trances with Wolves way more than High and Mighty. Mm. But uh, it started, you know, expectations, man. Don't have expectations. Mm. Have goals. Goals are different than expectations. Mm-hmm. You have things that you want to work towards, and, and that that uh, set goals. Those aren't the same as expectations. Mm-hmm. And if you're gonna have expectations, let them be your expectations. Don't let motherfuckers around you start telling you what you should be doing or where you should be, and how come you're not here? And so and so's here. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Feel me? Yeah, that makes hell of like, sense. Like, dude, who gives a fuck about what another nigga is doing? in terms of being, like, comparing that to what you're doing. Let it be inspiration, but don't let it, you know. Hinder you. Don't yeah. Yeah, don't, don't compete, yeah. and don't let motherfuckers try to make you compete. Just, I liked it better when I, I was, I liked it better when I had 300 followers on Twitter, and uh, not too many motherfuckers knew who I, who I was. Mm-hmm. And it was fun, and I was just doing whatever I wanted. And now even... My fans, like, okay, the shit that they want to hear from Nacho. They've been listening to me for five years, six years. There's shit that they expect from me on this next album that I have to put in there because I know what they want. Mm-hmm. But maybe what if that's not what I want to do right now? What if I want to experiment? Motherfuckers are going to judge me upon my past projects. Oh, I liked you better when you were with BSBD or... It's usually just going to be... the the motherfuckers from here though it ain't gonna be like everybody else is gonna fuck with your music no matter what it's just really the people that you know that try and put I'm not you saying anything it's just, it's just a universal thing for artists coming up you feel me like it's it wild. just is what it is I feel like you know already know what I'm about to say you well Seattle me? Seattle supported me real like fuck like I feel like I'm the mayor sometimes you mm-hmm. know? I love my city but like uh, sometimes Seattle's the kind of city that won't fuck with you until they see someone else fucking with you, if that mm. makes sense. 100%. Yeah. So when I started getting, like, little L.A. articles and little noticement for Seattle, was like, hold on, man, that nigga's all, you know, he's from Seattle. Mm. He's our guy now. Yeah, yeah, but I was, like, getting kicked out of venues and, like, like a year before that shit happened, like, niggas wouldn't let me, niggas were taking me off their verses. Wow. Niggas were That's asking crazy. me to do songs taking me off the song because I was too raunchy or said, you know? Mm-hmm. Huh. And then fucking uh, High and Mighty, not High and Mighty, uh, For the Glory comes out and niggas are re-releasing the song with my verse on. Oh. Local hip-hop, weird shit. Wow. Yeah, some weird yeah, shit. Nigga. And I gassed, but nigga, you didn't... They didn't even tell you? one in the beginning. Nah, weird shit. So I don't really give a fuck about shit now in my career because I've done so much that I didn't expect to do and then there's a lot of shit that I wanted to do and expected to do that I didn't do. So now I'm just, you know, either I keep making music and I just have fun and uh, if that's the case, I'm all for it or they pay me a large amount of money to do it like a whore, you know? Mm -hmm. Whore might not want to fuck you. But for that money, she gonna fuck the shit out of you, and that's kind of I hate to say it, but I'm kind of hoary right now. Like, <laughs> I don't really gotta get out of bed. Like I got a little money. Um, I got video games. I got toys. I got beautiful model girlfriend. She might be taller than me, and I don't really. I've done so much. It's like I'm only gonna get out for them whore numbers. I'm still a whore. <laughs> so if it's fun again, I, I like fun things. You know, I'm an artist, you know. 
like any I'm all for art, but my my dad was a poet, my mom was a painter, so I'm all for art shit. Yeah. But uh you can't make me do anything right now, mm-hmm. you know. I don't need to make songs with nobody. I don't need to go to shows. I don't need to do shows. I, you know, I don't need to do my own show. I could jack off all week. <laughs> I don't need to do anything, man. Like, mm, I'm kind of content. I think that's what's scary. Yeah. You know, I don't know what I want from. I don't know what I want from uh, hip hop anymore. If I want anything from it, but I definitely. Ha- I'm loyal to my fans, mm-hmm. so I will always. If they, if six fans want a fucking album, God, by golly, someone open up the studio. And I'm gonna get these motherfuckers an album. But yeah, I don't really care about nothing. If you could transition to any other genre, what would it be? Oh man, punk. Punk, yeah. Yeah, I got this band, but we don't ever do nothing. But they're my band. I chose them three years ago <laughs> i got a band we ain't i think we did one song and i ooh, it was fucked up because the thing about punk is you could say whatever you want to say like hardcore yeah like that kind of shit no one's gonna judge rap you gotta be cool mm-hmm. i'm a cool motherfucker but sometimes i'm angry and i don't want to have to be cool yeah i don't want to be cool today but uh yeah i would <clears throat> I just like to say very fucked up things. And I feel like that's a genre where they won't judge me. You know what I'm they saying? They actually encourage that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they encourage that shit. And uh, I'm a fan of blues. Mm-hmm. Blues comes blues very yeah. natural to me. Mm-hmm. So like, I would definitely like to write some blues songs. I've heard some fucked up blues songs. Yeah, pff, blues. Yeah. I mean, that's where rap Nigga, the first niggas shooting up clubs and fucking niggas bitches was booze niggas, <laughs> okay? <laughs> uh, Shit. The fan of booze is where most everything comes from. Yeah. Blues and country, as bad as we say it, country was around for a minute. Great song, great songwriters, country music. Mm-hmm. Not a fan of the music myself, mm-hmm. but I'm a fan of writing. That's why I like a lot of like Nirvana and shit. I'm a fan of words. Okay. And country music knows how to tell a goddamn story. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. like uh, was it Cocaine and Whiskey? Uh, Johnny Cash song, one of my favorite country songs. Motherfuckers, Johnny Cash is so cool, and a lot of niggas don't like to count him as country. But that yeah, nigga, what did they put him in? What, country. What do they cl- like? He's like country kind of folk music what's well, like like the ring of fire song that's, that's country like country song. like that's just he's country. country yeah he is <laughs> he is co- but but he's like a cowboy bro but, but when you say johnny cash is your favorite country singer they act like uh like he's oh, okay. all right but johnny cash is, they want like toby keith or some yeah, shit yeah like. <laughs> but johnny cash is the man yeah i just like song bro i like at so many genres, bro. He was he was like a badass dude too. Like mm-hmm. he did wild shit. Went to jail, he did a lot of coke, a lot yeah. of pills. He uh, was early to talk about that shit too. Oh, he was like the first, bro. For them, he was honest. He was honest with his people. Yeah. Um, man, I like so many different genres, bro. I just a fan of songwriting. Mm-hmm. I'm a fan of writing, man. Fucking. Every genre, I got a favorite favorite person. You said drawing and stuff yeah. too. Yeah, if the drawing hits me in. In I like might not draw for like two years and then just do nothing but draw for six months. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So like it hits me. See, I'm both my parents were were artists, so I'm, I don't have fun drawing. Oh, okay. It's something. It's the first thing I was ever good at. So it's the first thing people ever put pressure on me about. And, mm-hmm. oh, you, you're supposed to be an artist. Oh, can you draw me a picture? Um, everyone. Oh, you so, you so, you know, I didn't really like doing art that much when I was a kid. But everyone made me do all this art because I was good at it. Yeah. Like the first painting I ever painted as a kid was like a teenager's level. <laughs> Like, first time I ever sat down, I just had a steady hand. 
Mm-hmm. I draw straight lines real good even now, you know, like 30 seconds, I can draw a whole fucking Marvel picture. Like, I'm good at it now. It's like my God-given talent, talent yeah. but mm-hmm. it's not anything I really give Man. a fuck about. I feel like if you channeled, <laughs> I feel like if you channeled all that energy right now, because that shit's hella inspiring. I don't know if anybody else is looking at what he's saying. Like, it's some really inspiring shit, because definitely I can relate. I feel like everybody in this room can relate to at least something you have said just now, so... Respect for that, but I'm saying if you put that shit into like just one thing, I just feel like that shit's just gonna go crazy. People have to pay attention. You're not gonna put something out, people are not gonna check it out. It's just one of those names like you gotta like, you know what I mean? I just feel like you could just do some crazy ass shit. The thing about art is like, I'm so critical of it. Yeah. So it's like rap. I could rap and if the song ain't the best song, I could just do another song. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But as a kid, I would sit and draw for hours, and I got this thing in my head. I don't think of what I'm drawing. I just start drawing, and it just turns into shit. Mm-hmm. But I'll draw for hours, and then the hand won't be how I wanted the hand to be. And I'll crumble up the whole fucking picture, and I'm mad now. Man. It fucks with my fucking... Rap doesn't. Well, mm-hmm. Fuck you if you don't like the fucking songs. I got 30... Six songs, nigga. We gonna like one of them or get the fuck away from me. <laughs> yeah. But like, so I care too much about what I did on the paper, so it just wow. became not fun. And everyone, I'm a, I have like oppositional defiance disorder, so if someone tells me to do something, my first instinct is to not want to do it. Mm. So if my mom, my mom would say, "Don't do this." I might not even be thinking about doing it, but now that you told me not to do it, I don't got to mm. do it. <laughs> And that fucks with me, fuck even as an adult. It's like, why do I just want to do the opposite of everything Damn. I'm supposed to do? Damn. Some niggas just like, right you gotta there, be though. a drawer, you be an artist. That's what fuck art. But I had an art show that was on my bucket list. I said I wanted to have an art show, and I had a successful art show. I'd say, oh, I'd say, at least a couple hundred people came. Wow. I hmm. made, I made some money. I, I think I sold two original pieces. But I made prints because I know niggas are broke. And, I'm and that's like, when you really wanted to. You really wanted to do that shit? I just wanted to do one art show. One art show. Just to do it. Maybe I'll do another one one day. Maybe I'll like. You remember what that mind state was, though? Because you fucking oh, did it. All I was doing was drawing. Okay. I was fucking all night smoking and just working on pieces. And Oh, yeah. It, I was looking for inspiration all over. Cartoons, mm. like whatever the fuck. I was, yeah. Like I said, six months, all I did was draw. Had the art show, it was like I busted a net. And now I was just, I I I don't think I've, I got all these art supplies, I don't think I've touched them since the art show. I was like, yeah. You got anybody like in your ear to like, just give you some validation sometimes? Like, yo, bro, you're killing the game right now, you're doing your thing, bro, like, appreciate you. Strangers. Strangers? Strangers come up to me and I will get blown away every time. Like, you never get, like, sometimes there's days where I'm just like, I wish people would stop talking to me. <laughs> you know, like, if mm-hmm. I'm in the club or, I, or yourself. something, and everyone's like, no, Jules, it's like some dude's been talking to me about, like, some album I did five years ago spitting on me. <laughs> like, it gets annoying sometimes, but then sometimes there's just that dude that just gives you just the perfect amount of compliment, and he tells you that, you know, like, you could tell that he means it. And that's that's amazing. I'll just be amazed that, like, I even, you know, it's crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, people take the shit for granted, especially now. Like, you got one song, you see, like, 50,000 people listen to it, and then you get this ego. But, man, mm. this, this, this shit still amazes me that anybody likes this shit. Because this is just shit that happens in my head. Yeah. I thought I made the shit for myself. Mm. I didn't make it. And then other people fuck with it, too. Oh, shit. That's wild, bro. So, that's a blessing fair man there's some real talk with Nacho Picasso today man we really yeah. we really appreciate you man oh man it's all yeah, good yeah. I figured you guys got me way the fuck out here Yo. we might as well t- talk some real shit before we wrap this yeah. up I gotta ask you what's your favorite anime oh man ooh there we no, go I'll put this out the cut before we wrap it up <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking hour. <laughs> um, people gotta know People do gotta know. Yo, honestly, like I'm, I'm hip to all the new animes right now. Like I fuck with uh, My Hero Academia, 
and uh, you know, of course, Dragon Balls and shit. But I like the old fucked up. Like, yo, first of all, when I was little, anime wasn't cool. Mm-hmm. My cousins were teasing me. Um, <laughs> you weren't getting no pussy if you liked anime. <laughs> Yo, I was watching anime before it was anime. It was called Japanese animation. Yeah. And we had to order the shit off TV. Oh, Late wow. at night, there'd be a commercial, and it would show like a, a like a box set. And the first time I ordered it, it came with Akira. Classic. Uh, Ghost in the Shell. Oh, yeah. wow. Mm, okay. And Fist of the North Star. Yeah. And this was like in the 90s. <laughs> and I ordered yeah. it off like USA with my mom's credit card. And I was like, I'm, I just like cartoons. And then I, I'm like, yo, what the fuck are these cartoons? These are like the best cartoons I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. So then I stole my mom's credit card again, and I ordered uh, the second pack, and it came with this movie called Wicked City. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Wicked City was kind of like a hentai. Uh-huh. <laughs> like tentacle porn. Yeah. Oh, shit. Spiders coming out of pussies and shit. What and fuck? Yo, I'm a fucking like nine years old, my nigga. I've been watching Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I've been fucking that shit. And you feel me? And this like shit. spider with titties and shit. And, and then it was just a rap. My yeah. my brain was never the same. So, <laughs> I say like my favorite is probably Fist of the North Star, Ninja Scroll, Cowboy Bebop is one of my favorite series. Mm. And right now I fuck with One Punch Man because I'm bald and strong. I be knocking. The <laughs> yeah. I just relate to One Punch Man. Hell, that's man. fucking perfect. Yeah, that's my <laughs> shit. Hell yeah, man. Well, appreciate that, man. It's this love, has been man. very insightful. Very insightful. Yeah. 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 This has been the uh, 11th episode of the Hip Hop Seattle Podcast. Cal Naughty. It's your boy, Miss High Definition, Henny Hunter K. May Hemp. We got Nacho Picasso. Yo, bro. sorry I'm all moody and old. This is real. with the slow clock. <laughs> Trying to save the kids. <laughs> thank you so much, Nacho Picasso. And thank you all for showing up. I want to say the world Tell the world to kiss my hand up Godfather Marlon Brando in a bando Fucking on a rando I just promised her a Lambo Bitch, I'm riding sober Miss me with that Lambo You could miss me with them handouts It seems I need a Harley Quinn And baby girl, you hardly see me I sit on my face just like this grin I never going out unless it's out on a limb Got pussy juice dripping from my mouth to my dick Yeah, I admit I'm talking shit I don't care about your sound cloud Your dual brag is a death shroud All my life I fell left out Niggas dying for a Gucci bell Niggas never knew how Gucci fell I said I wanna sell how Tucci sell I told old girl I hope that all is well Because your pussy got that sushi smell I keep your secret baby I won't tell That you will wish be casting all the spells Jesse Spano saved me by the bed oh, Thank God I could have spent another night in hell With that bra That's when I hit them with that con lit That con lit They only want it cause I got it I flaunt it And we don't listen to that gossip It's toxic We be the niggas on that rock shit In my shit Then I hit them with that con lit That con lit They only want it cause I got it I flaunt it and we don't listen to that gossip It's toxic, we be the niggas on that rock shit In my spit, I'm back from the dead Cause you niggas miss my funeral The lines did a number on your boy like Roman numerals I'm done You niggas mad working in the cubicle You mad Your bitch is bad playing in my pubic You mad he said, fuck me, back the feelings mutual I don't give a fuck about an op or a neutral That shit unusual, you suspect as usual I got super brain, then I ate a neutral brain 
I go super sad. Your girl think I'm Superman. And you're Superman. So I had the juicer man. Told her that I'm rich as fuck. Now she think I'm Bruce Dwayne. Told her about the Justice League. Then we ran a super train. Back to panels. Why the fuck I on DCU? I forgot. Wonder Woman got BECU. Caught a case. Then I beat it like I'm Boosie Boo. Said she on a period. I told her woo. That's when I hit him with that count with that count with They only want it cause I got it. I flaunt it. And we don't listen to that gossip. It's toxic. We be the niggas on that rock shit. In my spit. Then I hit him with that count with that count with They only want it cause I got it. I flaunt it. And we don't listen to that gossip. It's toxic, we beat them niggas on the rock.